Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to work it out. We can work it out, the Beatles. So you need a D to a sus4, and then a C back to a D. That's your verse right there, you know, it's uh, trying to see it my way. Da -da 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 basically does that twice for every time the verse comes in. So that's a D chord, fourth string, third string, and second string at the second fret, open first string. <clears throat> and uh, my strum is going to be down, 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 up. That's it for, for this section anyway. And for the chorus, which is next. So down, 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 up. Then I'm going to add my pinky on the second string, third fret. That makes it a D sus4. That sound. So the D sus4 is the fourth string and the third string second fret. I'm just going to leave the second string second fret right down and just add the second string third fret with that pinky because I'm going right back and forth between the D and the sus4. So, so you got a D to the sus4. Whoops, sorry, let me try that again. D to the sus4, then the D to the sus4, then a C chord back to a D. The C chord is the first string, third fret. That's it. Okay? So, this is your verse, you know. Try to see it my way. D to a sus4, and then a C chord back to D, and then you repeat. D, the sus4, the D, to the sus4, and the C, back to the D. Then the chorus is a G to a D, G to an A. That's the whole chorus. The G chord is the 3rd string and the 1st string 2nd fret, the 2nd string 3rd fret. Then, the, then there's a D chord, then back to G, and then you need an A chord, which is the 3rd string 1st fret, 4th string 2nd fret. <laughs> okay, so that's the uh, we can work it out, we can work it out. So again, that's a G, same strum, down, 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 up, D, same strum, back to G. And then an A. Okay? So let me put the verse followed by the chorus together for you. So you got trying to see it my way. Da -da 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 -da, to a C, back to the D, then you repeat. D to a D sus4, D sus4, then the C to the D. G can work it out, D. G can go back to A. So trying to yell out the chords and sing the melody at the same time. You can catch on. All right, you're almost done, believe it or not. Of course, you have the hard section coming up. Okay, before we do the bridge, let's talk about the form. Uh, we just did the verse and then the chorus. Then they go back and they do another verse and another chorus, and then the bridge comes in. After the bridge, there's another verse and another chorus, but then the bridge comes back. Then they do another verse, another chorus, and then you have the outro. So all we have left to learn is the bridge and the outro, okay? The bridge is the hardest part, uh, especially on the ook. We had to make some adjustments. But, um, so here, let me just play it, see if I can get through it here. Um, this is the life is very short. So lots of new chords. We're going to need a B minor. I'm going to bar the second fret and then uh, fourth string, fourth fret. That's my B minor. And I'm going to change my strum to all downs, all downs for this whole section. So what you do with the B minor is you're going to do all downs for a whole measure. Life is very... and then two more beats, so a total of six downs on that. Then you're going to go to a B minor slash A. Now we really can't do that on the ook, uh, not in this key, so um, we're just going to do a B minor 7, but I'm still calling it a B minor slash A. I'm just adding an A to it, and the way I do that is just bar the whole second fret this time, because this note is A. And I'm just going to hit that two downs on that one, so it's like B minor, and then 
the A in the bass, which isn't the bass because it's high, but whatever. And then you go to a G chord, which you already know, for four. Now a new chord, F sharp seven sus four, second string, second fret. Then you need the fourth string, third string, and the first string at the fourth fret, okay? Bit of a stretch, and you're gonna hit that twice. Then you're going to pull this middle finger back to the 4th string 3rd fret. That's an F sharp 7. Okay? So it sounds like this. So it's a very slight difference. You can hear that sus 4 resolving to the 3rd. Okay? So the F sharp 7 is the 2nd string 2nd fret. The 4th string 3rd fret. The 3rd string 4th fret. And the 1st string 4th fret. That's your F sharp 7. Okay, so we're halfway there. So we got B minor for six, and then the A in the bass, and then the G, and then the F sharp seven sus four to the F sharp seven. Now you need a B minor again, and you're going to change to this, like this quarter note triplet feel. It's like down, 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 down. So that goes from B minor, and then you put the A in the bass. So the whole second fret. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off of that, I want the open fourth string and I'm going to bar the second fret, the top three strings here, open fourth string, that's going to be B minor with G underneath, okay, and then we need an F sharp, we've run out of notes, we don't have it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to smush my <laughs> finger up and mute this string or you can just avoid playing it and that'll give the flavor of this part uh, that is played uh, you know, the Beatles play, so... See how I get rid of that fourth string, I don't let you hear it. Okay? And if you have trouble with that rhythm, it's just like triplets. And the way I teach triplets is strawberry, or raspberry, or blueberry, or gooseberry. You know, like a raspberry, strawberry, blueberry. So you can use the berries, okay? That is the whole bridge. Let me play the whole bridge, and it repeats all the way twice uh, every time it comes up. So it's like, life is very short, and there's no G chord to the sus. Resolve it, and then triple it. And then repeat, B minor. A in the bass, and then the G, and then the sus four. of the tune. All you have the outro left. That's all you have left. So, we went over the form. It's verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, verse, chorus, bridge, verse, chorus, outro. The outro, you're going to need one new chord. Uh, you grab your D chord, and what we're going to do is lift up on the second string so it's open. So, it's a D sus 2 is what we're looking for. It's a fourth string and third string second fret. We're going to end the third string uh, second fret, I'm sorry, the second string second fret is a D chord, and we're going to go like this. We're just going to lift that up so it's open, and then come right back to it. So it's like uh, D is down, down, up, down, just like that. So the strum is a little different. Down, down, up, down. Then the D sus 2 is open. Back to the D. D sus 4. Back to D. So the second string is really the key to the whole part. It's like I'm just going to yell out the, uh, what I'm holding down on the second string, okay? So it's the second fret, open, second fret, third fret, second fret. So it's a D, sus2, D, sus4, D. I can't really yell it out quick enough, but that's what it sounds like, okay? So that's it. That's, that, that comes in. Uh, that's the outro for We Can Work It Out. So... Hopefully that's good enough. It worked out pretty well on the ook. It's pretty complicated. So, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Please subscribe and play more ook.